Hey fellas, just about to make breakfast, or lunch I guess. Um, just had a light breakfast, so let's talk to t testosterone and what kind of milk you should drink to boost your testosterone levels. Now, there are two kinds of milk. One's the best, one is second best, and the second best isn't what you think it's going to be. So when we think of boosting testosterone, we think of increasing or we think of dietary fats because testosterone comes from cholesterol. That's what we convert it into, into testosterone in our testes. So it would make sense that whole milk or 2% or the fattier milks would be the milk you should drink to boost your testosterone levels. However, in North America especially, we keep our cows pregnant. We keep, or we keep, we pump them full of estrogen continuously, continuously, so they produce milk. And the estrogens that we give these animals make their way to us through the fats. So if you're going to the grocery store, in North America especially, I don't know about Europe, but I assume in places with bigger populations where they need to have a ready supply of milk, um, they do the same thing. So if you're going to the grocery store to get your milk, you want to stay away from the milks that have higher fat content because that's where these chemical estrogens, that's where these estrogens uh find their way into our bodies is through the fats in the pasteurized milk. So you want skim milk. I'll put a couple studies down below that show you uh, that drinking skim milk will ha actually help you increase your testosterone levels. So that's the second best kind of milk you can have. The best kind of milk you can have is actually raw milk, whole raw milk that comes from a cow that isn't kept pregnant, isn't kept, isn't pumped full of estrogen, and uh, is, a, is just milked naturally from a farm. It's very hard to get in North America, because I think in both Canada and America, it's illegal. I have had it in the past. I grew up uh, allergic to milk, but raw milk from a cow, I could have no problem. And that shows you that the process of pasteurization and all this stuff they do in these big... Um, I don't know, factories, I guess. It, it diminishes the quality of milk. It changes the structure of the milk. And uh, so I was allergic to milk for my whole life. But raw milk, I could have. The problem with raw milk is it doesn't last very long. You get a thick layer of uh, stuff that you have to clear off the milk um, every couple of days. So if you can get it, if you live on a farm and you have cows... You're awesome. That, that's the best milk you can have for testosterone production. But if you don't, and if you don't have access to a cow or raw milk, choose skim milk. Is what it is. So it's those chemical estrogens. It's those estrogens they pump into the cows in these um, big slaughterhouses, big, big milk factories, I guess they are, that we want to stay away from. So just a little tidbit. Or a little tip on, on what milk to choose to have the, the greatest effect on your testosterone levels. Hope that helped. I've got a free gift for you down below. It's called the Testosterone Cheat Sheet. It'll have more information about how to naturally increase your testosterone levels. And um, just click, click that link and you'll get it for free. So give that a shot and go get some skim milk or some raw milk. I'll talk to you soon.